Hello everybody! It's been a couple weeks since I recorded a live video and I'm very very excited about this one. I have 84 subscribers on my channel, on my YouTube channel, and it's only been five weeks. I'm ecstatic. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and all your awesome awesome comments. Um, so this video I want to share with you a giveaway. As soon as I hit 100 subscribers I'm going to have a giveaway. But I want to give you a sneak peek at what I'm giving you. So um, yeah, if you stick around, wait till the end of the video, I'll tell you how to enter and how I'll be choosing a winner. So I'm going to start off with two 6x12 pieces of chipboard and what I'm putting together for you guys is just a, a little kit um, so that you can create your own album. I'm going to include six of the black Celebrate It large paper bags. I'm also going to include a variety of envelopes so you can choose what type of mini that that you want to make. So I'm going to include six of the 6x9 envelopes, the open end envelopes, and they do not have the clip here so you don't have to play with that. Six of the number 10 policy envelopes so they open at the end as well. And I'm also going to include six of the number six coin envelopes. I'm also going to include a series of tags for you. Um, there's just a few mini chipboard tags. I'm going to include six of these tiny tags. They are one and three quarters by one inches. I'm going to include six of the number one tags and they measure two and three quarters by one and three eighths. I'm going to include six of the number four tags which measure four and a quarter inches by two and an eighth. And last of the tags is I'm going to include six of the number six tags, which measure five and a quarter inches by two and five eighths. I'm sorry, I do not have any of the number eights. Otherwise, I would include some of those as well. So those are all the materials you need to build your album. I'm also going to include papers. And I'm including eight by eight papers from the conservatory uh, paper stack from Seven Gypsies and there are going to be two sheets of each of the designs. Two of these two of these Okay, and I unfortunately live in the boonies, so I don't have good access to colored cardstock. So what I did is I pulled whatever colors that I had in my stash that might coordinate with these papers. You can use some of them, all of them, none of them. Uh, they'll be useful for for other projects anyway. If you don't like the way they go with the conservatory. Anyway, I've got two eight and a half by eleven craft and two eight and a half by eleven. I'm not sure the color. It's a natural, and this is eighty pound cardstock, so it's really really thick stuff. Um, I've got this is I believe a little bit of basil. I've got two six by twelve sheets in a lighter green, and two six by twelve in this darker green, and they've got a slight texture to them. And I'm also including, I have a variety of 8.5 by 11 papers here from the Coordinations Vintage cardstock. So I've got a couple of different greys, a light blue, and a light green as well. And this has a different core color so you can actually emboss and sand it. So that'll be fun to play with. So that's all I've got for the papers. Um, I'm also including a 
some Seven Gypsies rub-ons. And this is, it says steampunk rubbings, but it includes a whole bunch of birds, nests, you know, nature items on there. I have cut for you from Thin Chipboard. This is the Upon a Time die from from Tim Holtz. So I punched, I um, did it in white and the craft. It's actually the same paper just turned over and I left it in in the strip because I thought you could also use a negative if you wanted to. So you got four alphabets. I've got a variety of die cuts here that I'm also including. I've got chipboard Fanciful Flight. I've got all the pieces here for the butterfly from Fanciful Flight. I have um, the angel wings in chipboard. I have the elegant flourishes in chipboard. I've included this grunge board frame. This is gr from the grunge board elements, I believe, from Tim Holtz. There's variety of wings and a book plate and I left the center in there. I thought you could use that. And I've also included two of the mini Baroque. Um, one's a Harlequin and the other one's a stripe pattern. Both are grunge board. For brads I'm including a set of American Crafts brads. I've got a variety of different colors of bling, a green, a blue, and a brown. I've got some border bling. I have some, these are 3D butterfly stickers and they have little wire antennas with a bead on the end. They're really cute. I don't know if you can see that. These are Brad's Heart with Wings. They are by Autumn Leaves. I'm including three stick pins. They're handmade stick pins, so there's a pink, a white, and a blue in there. I'm including some Making Memories uh, copper plates. I don't know what, what you call them. I'm including, let me move this. I'm including a variety of specialty brads. So, let's see here. There's some dragonflies in a variety of different metals. There's an antique copper, gold, a silver in there. I've got some maple leaves in a variety of metals. And I have some oak leaves and a variety of metals, some little tiny flowers and some larger copper brads. I've got a whole little baggie here full of different charms and findings. So I have a couple of these hinge clips from Tim Holtz. I have an ornate plate from Tim Holtz, swivel clasp. I have some fragments, a fragment charm variety of buttons here. This one's really pretty. It's got some brass flowers on it. Got a dragonfly charm, some hinges, another button. Anyway, I'll spread this out. There's a Tim Holtz key. A few uh, safety pins, a trinket pin, some D-rings, keyhole, key. So all sorts of fun charms for you to play with. I also have a variety of flowers. Um, I'm going to include some of these pearl stems. I have some in a pale green and an ivory. And then I'm going to include a bunch of I Am Roses flowers. I love these flowers. They are so pretty and they're, they just feel like really good quality. So I'm going to include three of these random mixed brown curly roses 
And I'll put the codes down at the bottom of the screen for you guys too. I'm including four of the, they call these white gardenias, but they look like medium sized roses to me. Four of the white paper flowers, and these are just tiny roses. I'm going to include two, these are called big ivory and yellow curly petals flowers, so two of those. And I'm going to include two of these white scrapbooking curly flowers, they're really cute. There will be 12 of these white gardenia curly petals. They call them two inch, but they're not two inches round, maybe when they were flat. I'm also going to include 12 of the small white gardenia curly petals. I'm going to include six of these uh, big white puffy daisies. And look at the embossing on this, guys. And you, you can't even really flatten it out. They're awesome. I'm also going to include 12 of these white flowers as well. There will be one bunch of these small green daisy paper leaves. And one bunch of, they just call these green leaves. And last of the flowers is I'm going to include six of these skeleton leaves. I've got a variety of feathers here. Actually, I'm not going to open this. There's um, some green, some white, brown, spotted feathers. I'm not sure what bird they come from, but anyway, a variety of feathers. And last but not least, I have a variety of ribbons and lace. So I've got two yards each of this gold, this green, and this black satin ribbon. I have 12 inches of this green and brown ribbon. 12 inches of this one. I don't know if you can see the pattern on that. It's kind of got a vine, a scrolly vine on it. 12 inches of this brown lace. 12 inches of the white lace. 12 inches of this little flowery lace. I've got one yard. I think it's one yard, maybe it's just two feet of this lace and it's got a pearl down the center. I think it's two feet guys, two feet of this, two feet of the white flat lace, two feet of this brown ribbon, two feet of this blue velvet ribbon, two feet of this sheer light baby blue ribbon, two feet of this lace, two feet, this is a prima lace, I think you guys have seen it before, two feet of this organza ribbon, it's kind of like an olive green color, two feet of this sheer black organza, it's got a bit of a sparkle in it, and two feet of this brown printed ribbon. I was also am going to include this half ounce studio matte medium. This is the Claudine Helmuth uh, matte multi-medium. And a small one and a half inch create a sticker Xyron machine. And it's got the permanent adhesive in it. Anyway, that's my kit. That's my giveaway. I had a lot of fun putting this giveaway. together. Um, so, in order to be entered for the draw, I'd like you to please leave a comment on this video, whatever you like, and you must also be a subscriber to my channel. Anyway, have a good night, thanks for watching, and uh, happy scrapping!